Hey, this is Leslie Samuel here from becomeablogger.com where we're changing the world one blog at a time. And in this video, I want to show you how to create time-based autoresponders in GetResponse. Now, a time-based autoresponder is pretty simple. Someone signs up to your email list and you say, on day one, I want them to get this first email. Seven days after, I want them to get this next email and so on and so forth. Now, this is something you can do in a service like Aweber, which is what I used to use. And that's the only way you can do autoresponders in Aweber. Get response take it to, takes it to the next level and I want to show you that um, so that you can see how exciting it is. I think it's exciting so I think you will too. If I come here to messages I can create an autoresponder directly or I can go to manage my autoresponders. I'm gonna go to manage because I want you to see the awesomeness. And what I'm seeing here is that I have time-based autoresponders and action-based autoresponders. We're not going to talk about this. This is even more exciting, but we'll deal with that in a later video. I want to focus on this time-based autoresponders. Now, in a service like Aweber, you have this time-based feature, and it shows it to you like this. I'm going to click here and change how this shows it to you. So I see the list of emails, um, which, you know, it's cool. It works. But when I come to this other view, this grid view where I'm seeing kind of like a calendar, I can see exactly where those emails are and I can do this. I can come here, click on this one that's on day seven and move it to day three. I can just visually move things around wherever I want them. I can come here and add a new one. Very easy to do, very straightforward. And that to me is pretty amazing. So let's say I want to add one here. Let's say I want to move day, this one from day 14 to day 21, this one from day 7 to day 14, and then I want to add one here. Um, this is for my biology blog, so you'll see some um, nerdy titles like passing classes and cellular respiration. That's not the, the um, subject, but that's just for me to know what, I'm, what, what I covered in here. But I'm going to go ahead and add one message. So I'm going to click on that plus. This is a time-based autoresponder. And then I can either choose a message that I already created um, or I can create a new one. You can see I have some other features. Like I can say, you know what? If this person signed up at 8 o'clock in the morning or at 3 in the morning, since that is the time they came to the site, most likely that's the time that they're gonna want they're gonna be coming to the site in the future. So I can say I want it at the same time signed up or with a specific delay or exactly at a specific time. I'm gonna go with the same time they signed up. And I like my autoresponder messages to go out on Tuesdays. So I'll just say that. You don't have to do that. You can do it on any day. Um, I'm just doing this to show you the features. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new email. I'm gonna give this a name and I'll call this um, make the most. And, and that means make the most out of my site. This is an email that I have. The subject line, I'm just gonna copy it from Evernote here. Get the most out of interactive biology, which is the name of my site. And I'll put that subject here, I'll paste it. Um, I want it to cr cr <laughs> track my click-throughs. I want Google Analytics tracking to be on. You can set that up, but that's beyond the scope of this video. I always like to click on save, and then I'm gonna go to the next step. And in this next step, I can choose a template. Now they have all kinds of template um, te templates. I'm a plain guy, so I like to start from scratch. I don't need a design, but you can choose whatever you want. So I'm gonna start from scratch, and I'm gonna start with a blank template. And now I have my blank template. Look at the beauty here. I have my email here that I'm creating, and then I have a mobile device here um, where I can see exactly how it's gonna look. So I'll go ahead and add a text block. I'm gonna select all of this. So let's just um, select it all. And then I'm gonna delete that content. There we go. And now I wanna add the content to the, to the email. So I'm gonna copy this. You can see I just put hey there. I didn't put the name or anything of that sort. And when I come here, I'll paste it. And it says, hey, I want to add the first name. So I'm going to come down here to this little person, which means like personalize it. So I'm going to click on that and add first name. And then I have some links here that I want to make clickable. And I just did that this way. So I'm going to um, cut this and then highlight this and make it a link. So let's put the URL and I'll call this physiology. 
because that's a link to my physiology videos. I'm then going to copy this URL and I'll make this clickable. So I'm basically having, oops, I'm having three links in this one email. It's not always the most advice um, thing, but I, I, I want to, I, I'm doing this because I want to, ana how do you spell anatomy? To me. All right. I want to illustrate a point in one of the later videos. So I'm doing it this way so that you can see um, something specific. So stay tuned for that. You're going to see it and you're going to love it. I promise you, you're going to love it. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this link. I'm going to paste it in here and I'm going to call this biology. All right, so we're good with our email. Um, and when I once I do that, I can see, hey, this is what it looks like on my mobile device. If it doesn't look the way I want it to look, I can adjust it right here. You don't get this with Aweber. You don't get this with most other services, but you get it with GetResponse, and I love it. Once I'm done with that, I want to make sure to save that message, and I could save it as a template or I can save it as a draft. I am going to save it as a draft because I'm working on it now. Um, so it's saved. I can then click on Next Step, and once I'm here, um, you can see Make the Most. This is my email, and then I can click on Save and Publish. Once I do that, now, hey, look at that. It's right here. It's not showing you. It, it takes a little while to update this image, um, but when you come back to it, um, you'll see that it is the email that you want. And once again, I can move it around if I want it on a different day. It's a beautiful thing. But that's pretty much it. I've just created a time-based autoresponder. I can move it around. Um, I can edit it. I can do whatever it is I want to do with it. And this is a feature that you just don't have with a service like Aweber. And if you would like to sign up for Get Response, you can go to becomeablogger.com slash get response. So that's it for this video. And this is Leslie Samo from becomeablogger.com where we're changing the world one blog at a time. And until next time, take care and God bless.